Hello, my lucky friends, it is me, and I wanted to use today's video to experiment a bit, not too much, but just a tiny, tiny bit, specifically, I wanted to try what I call trigger mixing and what you'll be able to hear throughout this video is whispering in one ear and mouth sounds in the other. Now I know this isn't a novel concept per se, um, but I still
dislike or something like I'm not gonna leave your comment up especially since I personally read like 99% of comments unless it somehow uh, either got filtered by YouTube for a review and then I end up seeing it like a month later uh, or it, I've had like a bunch of notifications in a day and I just accidentally gloss over it uh, and forget to answer. I have a... I forget what it's called. Sleep dust, I forgot. Um, but um, unless I accidentally gloss over it and just miss it, I probably read it at least or I, I hearted it or I reacted. I usually try to react to as many of your guys' comments as I can, but it's not always possible. Just because a lot of comments I don't know what to answer. <laughs> like some, for some I just say thank you if, they, if it's like a compliment or something. But uh, for some that are just like hearts or single words or I don't know, it depends on the comment, but if it's something interesting uh, or a question or something, I try and answer it uh, immediately. Though I even take criticisms. Um, though it has to be a, I'm not gonna say valid, but rather a pleasantly worded criticism. You can't just bash me. Bashing me is not allowed and like bashing the channel or anything or other people either. But yeah, I like how uh, with my Korean video, for example, when I spoke Korean, there was a bunch of comments and one, one comment was talking about how I'm handsome and then somebody else uh, commented, now no, he is, I'm not handsome by Western standards or something along those lines. And then they had like a, an, a 10 paragraph discussion about how handsomeness works in western culture and how i i don't know i have a large nose or something along those lines and i was like you guys do know that i am currently present and yeah <laughs> but uh but yeah the, the whole thing was like weird everybody has their own preferences if i'm not like the western standard it's like i don't care <laughs> if if somebody thinks i'm handsome that's cool if I think I'm handsome, that is also cool, and like, just think what you will. You just gotta be confident sometimes, which I tend to be. Hopefully not annoyingly um, confident, though I do just passively tend to do that sometimes, like never in a demeaning way, but I sometimes say things that that might come off as as if I am I feel like I am um, more qualified at something than somebody else uh, or, or like I'm the, like it's like I'm in a higher position or something but I don't really want to do that it's just that I am quite direct at times when I try and or when I'm argumentative or something, it just ends up seeming that way. And I'm kind of bummed out sometimes by that, because like I'm not that type of person, I'm not aggressive, I don't like to uh, shove my ideas onto people. I often try and like, even uh, in situations where I like notice that somebody might feel like I'm um, being dominant, I try and be like, oh, but you know, that's just my opinion. I hope that you guys have something else and uh, let me know if you don't think so or something like along those lines because it's not, um, I don't like it when I'm the only one throwing out ideas and I'm the only one being listened to or something like that because it just, it's not, not my preferred way of work. I, I like to have brainstorms, I like to get criticized. Oh, that also might be something that people don't dislike about me sometimes, which is, uh, thankfully I don't have a lot of that uh, present in my ASMR itself. But uh, when I'm doing projects and, um, I don't know, working job and <laughs> job stuff, uh, sometimes I can critique uh, in like a really 
straightforward way and it might feel like I'm attacking somebody personally but it's just a uh, what is called a constructive criticism like not to be demeaning or to tell someone that they don't know how to do their job it's just something like I would prefer it like this it might be better like this and similar things it's just how I work I, I and and that's something that people um, find weird actually that I find weird is that people don't want to criticize each other for some reason um, like I've I, I was in class and we had an English class and we were supposed to um, not criticize each other but we had like mock job interviews uh, mock, yeah, mock job interviews where you had two people in front of you you answered their questions and uh, afterwards they tell you how they wish you'd answered and maybe some stuff that you didn't answer perfectly or that I don't know just something along those lines and um, and when I was the judge I was straightforward I told people I next time do this try this uh, generally that was good but you could also do this no 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 and when I came up they were just like yeah that was great well like I really liked your answers that that was good and any criticism they had was very either very obvious uh, or something unrelated in a sense that uh, I knew was wrong but I said it anyway just because I, I, I know it's a mock um, and like it was, I found it really annoying sort of because I enjoy criticism in some ways because it allows me to improve myself like even when somebody tells me uh, for, for my videos that I don't know I should talk slower or that I should um, I don't know anything that, that can be improved upon specifically like not criticizing my voice or my looks or the background or something I mean even the background and the lighting to criticize it's fine to criticize those because that is something that I can change but I can't change myself and I can't change my voice specifically so it's it's definitely um, something that I wish more people use just because it's useful and I like to be useful and to have use uh, and to, uh, to be useful to other people and for me to also be useful uh, actually for them to also be useful for me and such just so we could improve together because um, th it's, it's a process you can't do stuff alone you just you need help and that's why for example uh, now that I'm working with a new programmer on my job and, and our communication is really good with the three of us who are we're really good at communicating with each other everything's like oh this could be cool could you do this no yes okay if that's too much you don't have to oh I can do it okay cool uh, is there something else that you would like yeah sure uh, and like it's just really natural conversations uh, where there's no um, no negativity no like oh no I could never do that why are you even asking no no backhanded comments it's just if you can't do it we get it if you can't do it fantastic um, if you can do it fast even better and such it's it's like no pressure uh, with, with our previous program I just didn't feel that way it felt like if we said something wrong it would just be gone why, why are you asking me that like I, I can't do that stop asking such stupid things for me and it was really really quite an annoying experience that does remind me I need to do something when I once I finish this up but uh, that is basically it for this whispering mixed with the mouth sounds video I hope that you enjoyed it um, if you did definitely leave a like tell me which parts you enjoyed and if it may be like an exclusively um, like wet mouth sounds dry mouth sounds or specific mouth sounds or something plus whispering or if you have a different combination that you think might work I was maybe thinking of doing another one where it would be um, mouth sound uh, actually whispering and 